Hey everyone, how you doing? Tarantula Dan here, and I'm going to be doing a, a rehousing setup feeding video of one of my spiders. Uh, this is the Pocolotheria vitata, previously the Pocolotheria pedicenae, also known as the pedicens or the ghost ornamental. So this female molted recently, uh, there will be a video up uh, by now of the molt video, and I thought I would rehouse her, but I will show you how to get uh, the setup done. So uh, I'll be doing the setup, rehousing her, and then I also have down here uh, some food for her as well. Uh, these are the adult winged locusts, which she tends to enjoy. So, um, so yeah, first up, I'm going to get the actual enclosure set up, and then I will get her out and introduce her. Okay, everyone. Well, the first thing to do is to have some substrate made up, some kind of a decoration. I have here three pieces of cork bark, two flat, one tubular, and also some uh, fake plants. And also this tub here will be used for sort of um, as a catch cup later on, should she try and make a, an escape. Uh, these spiders are very, very fast and very, very aggressive. Um, and also the venom is quite potent as well. So you'll be very careful when you're working with them. And of course I have here some tweezers, uh, which will definitely be used. Uh, this will not be a handling video. So uh, sorry if that's what you wanted to see, but I'm not handling this spider. Okay then, uh, so let's start adding substrate. Okay, so here's the enclosure, got the lid off ready. And this is the thing with working with animals, uh, especially with these, you are gonna get a little bit dirty. I don't bother with cups. Just simply grab a handful and drop it in, rinse and repeat. Okay, and I've added uh, probably about three inches in at the moment, and the substrate is still a little bit warm, which isn't a problem. And what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to add in the tubular hide down into one of the corners, like so. I'm actually use one of these as like a, um, kind of a prop, I guess, like so. And you can see it has steamed up a little bit, but that's not a problem. Um, I will leave this to fully cool off before adding the spider. But I find that if it's when it's a little bit damp, it's easier to kind of work with in a way. It uh, tends to be a bit more malleable, I guess you could say. And if you do get substrate on the lip, it's not a problem. Uh, I just use my finger to sort of poke down. And that way there shouldn't be any that will come over wipe the top of the lid, the lip there, sorry, there you go, and obviously with that bit you're going to screw over that bit out, bit out before you put the spider in. Okay then, just added in a piece of uh, fake plant, uh, it serves no purpose, I guess I can use it for webbing up to and it makes it look a little bit pretty and not quite as plain and barren in there. So I'm going to add a few more pieces in. Okay, I've added a few little pieces in. Uh, of course, you can add as many or as little as you want. Some of my spiders don't have any fake plants in at all. Um, that's just depending on sort of the species, I guess. So, But uh, yeah, it's done. You can see it's looking, I'm quite happy with that. There's enough there, room for the spider there to, to grow and things. And hopefully it will enjoy it. So now, I'll get the spider out. Okay then, so this is the enclosure where the actual spider is being uh, housed at the moment. And I am actually in the bathroom for this video and this reason is if you, you close a window, you block the door off, I've put a towel along there, and there's nowhere that it can go because um, it's a very, everything's closed off. There's a plug hole which you can't get down and things like that. So you don't have to worry about the spider running off under your bed or yeah, around your living room kind of thing. Um, there's nowhere for the spider to hide if you have a bathtub, a bathtub is also really good because uh, they can't actually climb out um, up the side of the bath. So let's uh, start digging out. Okay, got the catch cup ready and of course some tweezers. I'm not going to be putting my hand in here. I'm literally to start off by just removing all of this. And the other good thing with the bathroom is uh, it's easier to clean. Actual floor. 
There's a portable mark in there. That's it. Okay, let's uh, get the cork. Okay, this is what's left of the malt. It's pretty big, even folds in half. You can see it's a fairly decent size. Okay, then here she is. I have to dig out most of the actual substrate in there to get her out. Um, I think she was a little bit scared about it, to be fair. But um, other than that, she came out, and you can see that she is a pretty big girl. She has uh, she has full adult she has full adult coloration. Yeah, she's very very pretty. Okay, then next up is introducing her into the actual enclosure. Take it off. She actually seems very docile. I'm not going to attempt fate by handling her. And just place this in here. Like so. And using the tweezers very carefully. Try and encourage her to come out. Ah, oh, she's so beautiful. So just, just tap her leg. Oops, there we go. And there you go. And you can see, I mean, truly they are a beautiful spider. And this is actually my last female from my um, the last egg sac that I had of this species. So uh, yeah, she's she's really wonderful. Next up, I'm going to try and feed her. Okay, I'm going to drop in a locust just down there and see if she takes it down. Okay, everyone. Well, unfortunately, she's not taking down the uh, food, which is a little bit of a shame. It would have been nice, but at least I managed to rehouse her and you've had a good look at her. She's one of my most attractive looking spiders, and I'll be doing a feeding video of her in probably a fortnight or so. I'll leave her to enjoy that one off camera, which she will eat it off camera, because that's what these animals do. They wait till you're not filming, and then they do what you want them to do when you are trying to, to capture it. So I'll give you an update on her in a fortnight or so. And yeah, as always guys, thank you for watching my content. I, as always, you know, I really do appreciate it. And please check out the links in the description to my social media where I will be happy to talk with you there. If you have any questions, I can answer them there and have a chat. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.